Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's October 11th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a very quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of October 11th, 2024, waste management is currently sitting at $211.27 per share. Republic Services Incorporated is now at $203.78 per share. Clean Energy Fuels Corps is up to $2.88 per share. Ranger Energy Services is now sitting at $12.39 per share. And Evergy is currently sitting at $59.41 per share. But for the first part of the news this week, we want to highlight what's going on in our home state of Florida with relief efforts and updates coming from the fallout of Hurricanes Helene and Milton. According to the White House, Hurricane Milton knocked out power to more than 3 million people. Efforts are currently underway from more than 50,000 power line workers from 43 states as well as Canada to help restore power, which they have done so for nearly 1 million people. However, as of Friday afternoon, nearly 2.1 million utility customers remain without energy, according to USA Today's outage tracker. In addition to that, across the state, 19 school districts did reopen Friday, and an additional 7 districts are expected to reopen Monday, according to Governor Ron DeSantis. Additionally, in northeast Florida, coastal parts of Duval, Brevard, St. John's, and Volusia counties remain under a coastal flood advisory, warning of large breaking waves of 8 to 12 feet and life-threatening rip currents. Early estimates suggest the damage wreaked by Hurricane Milton could total $50 billion. The waste industry has also been working around the clock, helping with relief efforts and removing hurricane trash and debris from across the state. Much of this work is being done in accordance directly with an executive order signed by Governor Ron DeSantis following Hurricane Helene prior to the landfall of Hurricane Milton. In pursuance with this, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection issued their own emergency final order in part allowing for the activation of so-called disaster debris management sites to store and process storm-generated solid waste and debris. As of this recording, 202 DDMS sites have been authorized to operate for Hurricane Helene, with an additional 16 being activated for Hurricane Milton. The Department of Environmental Protection is also coordinating with landfill strike teams to assess these sites operating as a result of the storm. Other allowances and orders from this emergency final order can be viewed online. And speaking of online, authorities are urging Floridians to go to their local government websites to find all the information they will need on debris, assistance, and removal, as well as updated trash pickup schedules. They are also asking people to limit their water use where possible, as the storms have put a major strain on the state's sewer and wastewater systems. Swana also released a statement prior to the landfall of Hurricane Milton saying they are continuing to monitor the situation from the lens of potential implications for the industry. They say that Swana is ready to offer its resources and technical knowledge to support the waste and resource management industry. Amy Lesterson Burke, Swana's executive director and CEO, even said, quote, The work being done by our solid waste and resource management professionals continues to demonstrate the indispensable contributions to our society. These individuals are spending time away from their families to ensure their local communities are cleaner and healthier as they prepare for the next incoming storms. I am extremely proud of the contributions being made and know that our society echoes that appreciation. End quote. 
And speaking of hurricane relief, the company College Hunks Hauling Junk and Moving was contracted by the city of Tampa prior to the landfall of Hurricane Milton to step in and offer essential services in debris removal, cleanup, and relocation assistance due to the federal response contractors bringing only 15% of expected aid. College Hunks is actively assisting in the hardest hit areas affected by Hurricane Helene and Milton, leveraging its resources to support affected communities as part of their partnership with the city of Tampa. Nick Friedman, the co-founder of College Hunks, said, quote, The partnership with the city of Tampa is a powerful reminder of the need to come together in times of crisis. Our team is working tirelessly in Tampa to help clear the streets and reduce potential future damage. As my immediate and extended family grapple with the devastating effects of our home's flooding, we know the importance of needing help with removal, the feeling of loss, and the disappointment when help does not arrive. End quote. But as we move away from hurricane coverage now, just a reminder that Recyclist is a trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. But moving into other news now, according to a new report published by Coherent Market Insights, the renewable natural gas market is now projected to be valued at $24.23 billion by 2031, up from $14.03 billion in 2024. The study highlights a projected compound annual growth rate of 8.1% across the industry, highlighting advanced technologies for cost-effectively extracting biogas from multiple waste streams and achieving high methane content. According to the report, this improving feasibility and reducing costs are anticipated to lift renewable natural gas demand, aiming to displace significant amounts of greenhouse gas emissions. And up next, M. Volon, an MIT spinoff that converts greenhouse gas emissions into carbon negative fuels and chemicals, announced this past week they've entered into an agreement with Montauk Renewables, a producer of renewable natural gas. Leveraging M. Volon's patented technology, the initial pilot program from the partnership is a commercial scale demonstration of recovering and converting biogas into green methanol, which is expected to take place at Montauk's renewable gas production site at a landfill in Humble, Texas. Emmanuel Caceres, the CEO of Envalon, said, quote, After successfully showcasing our technology at our 5,000-square-foot testing and development facility here in Massachusetts, we're now focused on commercially scaling the production of green methanol. We're thrilled to kick off this pilot with Montauk, a leader in renewable energy development that's paving the way for other major corporations to turn biogas from landfills into valuable carbon-negative fuels and chemicals. And up next, GFL Environmental and Opal Fuels Incorporated announced this past week their joint venture, Paragon RNG, has commenced commercial operations at a new renewable natural gas facility at Sampson County Landfill in Roseboro, North Carolina. The landfill is owned and operated by a subsidiary of GFL and has a nameplate design capacity of approximately 1.6 million metric meter BTUs. Patrick DeVigi, the founder and CEO of GFL, said, quote, We are excited to see another RNG facility come online through our partnership with Opal Fuels. This facility at our Sampson landfill will play an important part in achieving our commitment to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions from landfills while providing an alternative fuel source that can power our trucks and help our customers achieve their own sustainability goals. End quote. And lastly, Clean Energy Technologies Incorporated announced this past week that their affiliate, Vermont Renewable Gas LLC, has been selected by the USDA as one of its Rural Energy for America program grant recipients. 
The program is administered by the USDA's Rural Development Office and funded through the Inflation Reduction Act and seeks to issue grants which spur economic development and catalyze rural prosperity throughout the United States. Vermont Renewable Gas was selected to receive $1 million towards completion of their Vermont Renewable Gas Linden 2.2 megawatt renewable energy facility in Linden, Vermont. But that will do it for your October 11th, 2024 news update brought to you by Recyclist, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. Once again, for all of those being impacted by the storms across Florida, please make sure to tune in to local broadcasts and reach out to your local government as needed for hurricane relief assistance and debris removal. Stay safe out there, everyone, and we will see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.